Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the missing side of each right triangle. Then find the value of each of the six trigonometric function of angle theta. So the first thing that we need to do is identify the given sides. So we have the opposite of the 90 degrees. So this is the 90 degrees. Opposite of it is always the hypotenuse. And it is also the longest side. And it is never negative. It's always positive. Then opposite of the angle is your the opposite. We call it the opposite, which is BC, and adjacent is uh, AC, adjacent meaning next to me or near to me, so this is the angle uh, theta, and beside it is side AC. So I know it, the hypotenuse also uh, beside the angle, but it is always labeled the hypotenuse because it is the longest side. So we have hypotenuse is equal to AB, which is equal to 35. Then opposite is equal to uh, BC, which is equal to, oh, it is unknown. Then adjacent. Our adjacent is equal to AC, which is equal to 21. Now, we will use Pythagorean theorem to solve for our unknown side, so which is our opposite. So, now we can use Pythagorean theorem. So, we have A squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Then, H is the hypotenuse, which is AB squared then our opposite is BC and our uh, adjacent is AC so uh, now we can uh, substitute so we have 35 squared and this is unknown and our AC is 21 so 35 squared let's use a calculator 35 squared is equal to 1,225. And BC is unknown. And 21 squared is equal to 441. So then we need to solve for BC. So we will subtract 441 on both sides of the equation. So this will be 0. So we have 5 minus 4, uh, 5 minus 1 is 4, then 2 minus 4, it cannot be, so we will borrow 1 from here, so this turned to be 12. 12 minus 4 will be 8, then we have 1 minus 4 cannot be, so you borrow from 1 here, this turned to be 11, 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. So we have 784 is equal to BC squared. Then we square root both sides. So we have square root of 784 is equal to BC. So let's find out what is the square root of 784. So this will be 28. So we have 28 is equal to BC. And again, it should be positive and negative but it is not in the coordinate plane so we can just take the positive but if it is in the x and y coordinate plane then you need to uh, identify the positive and negative uh, opposite side it depends on what quadrant angle will be located so our bc is 28 now we can uh, solve our uh, six trigonometric function. So we can say our sine theta is equal to opposite over a hypotenuse. So our opposite is 28. Hypotenuse is 35. Then you check is there any uh, common factor? 
factors of 35 is 7 and 5 and factors of 28 it can be 2 and 14 but there's no 7 or 5 for oh no it's 7 and 4 so we can have 7 multiplied by 4 is 28 so my bad so we can divide this by 7 divide it by 7 so this is 4 over 5 so then we can say sine theta is equal to 4 over 5 then cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent is 21 hypotenuse is 35 so we can divide again by 7 so this will be equal to 3 over 5 so our cosine theta is equal to 3 over 5 then tangent theta is opposite over adjacent so our opposite is 21 so you can see here it's 21 no 28 oh my bad and adjacent is 21 so divide this by 7 so we have 4 over 3 so tangent theta is equal to 4 over 3 now we can uh, uh, identify the cosecant and second so we have cosecant theta is equal to 5 over 4 and second theta is equal to 5 over 3 and our cotangent theta you see where I'm just flipping the this then cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tangent so it will be 3 over 4 so this is our answer for number 7